That's the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I know I'm stuck behind a car, you can't really see it, but uh, we're coming up on a little place called Stillwater. It's actually a monstrous place now. But, uh, it's a uh, lovely little, it's a lovely little, you know, main street actually. It's been preserved since the 30s. And, uh, if you notice that massive semi coming at us, it brings up the point of this whole place. The bridge I'm going to be going over in a little bit here is actually, um, uh, one of the near oldest bridges in America, I'd probably say. Uh, and the thing is, it's a lift bridge built for the, the, for the 20s, the 30s, 40s, you know, and when boats and everything were still a huge part of this country's mode of either transportation or, de or delivery service. The issue now is, it's 2011. It's been almost a hundred years after that. And there's, uh, it opened, it, though the bridge still lifts every half hour. And uh, here's the kicker. The 35W bridge, which is also in Minnesota, was rated at a 50 something if I'm not mistaken this bridge is rated at 30 I mean that's uh, that's quite a bit you know and they've, they've had this thing featured in newspaper articles magazines um, world news uh, history channel had a deal on it um, ow that's a big ass bug um, America's inspector I think it was something like that uh, this bridge opens every half hour and has been hit multiple times by tra trailers that are just way too big. They've limited down to semis uh, with, that are, I think it's the total semi length has to be 55 feet or less. Anything over uh, and it's too big. So yeah, it's, it's no matter a question of if this thing is ever going to fall over. It's, a, it's really a matter of when. And uh, it's kind of scary, I mean this thing gets hit with floods every year it has yet to not be flooded and uh, you get traffic like this modern day traffic made for a four lane highway or from freeway depending upon where you're from and it's it's hell I mean you can feel this bridge jump up and down and I know that's that's just something that happens structurally but uh, this bridge just cannot take it anymore it takes forever and a day to lift up takes forever and a day to bring back down it's gotten stuck multiple times there was one time uh, someone's someone's family member actually died from it, so it's it's hell to say the least. The town is wonderful. I mean, look at this place. I mean, it's just bustling with people. And this is all the traffic I do. I mean, it just rolls up. Nice looking Mustang. this place enjoyable. But, yeah, this, this is whole place in a nutshell. You have beautiful antique shops, hair salons, whatever you want, and it's all ruined because this bridge has not been made. They've had a whole bunch of debates and just 
referendums on this thing, and it's, it's just never going to change. The only way it's actually going to be made is if someone, you know, finally changes their mindset, or if the whole thing collapses. Which absolutely is not something we want. I mean, demolition of the bridge would be pretty quick and easy, since the whole damn thing would collapse, but it's not exactly shallow water. It's like 30, 40 feet deep, if I'm not mistaken. And look at this. This is this is all the traffic that's going to be going across the bridge. And this isn't going to end for a while. It's going to go for at least another half mile, I'd say. Maybe even a full mile. I'm bad at judging distances, but I know it's not exactly short. And look at this. You got semis like this going across. How much do you think that weighs? Per car? That's uh, that's at least uh, seven, eight cars. I mean, the truck alone is a beast. And they do that because they can go across here because there's no way station. If they go through Hudson, there's a way station they have to go through. And if they purposely overload these things, they make them go through here so they don't get caught, fined, and have everything taken away and have to reship it back to be, you know, to ship it back, have another semi come pick it up with the right limit. And waste all the, you know, all that money and gas and everything else. I mean, they're not supposed to do that. Laws of the law, obey the law, and don't put everybody else at risk, right? They're saying a toll is going to go there, or a, a tax increase is apparent. I mean, who really cares about that? Your taxes go up all the goddamn time anyways. It's not like they're ever going to stop. It's just very angering. It's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I have... It ends up being like another 20 to 30 minutes if I have to go through Hudson. I mean, now I'm kind of willing to risk it. It's starting to get this dangerous, but someday it will go down.